Good evening and welcome to Hello Kuwait, the live show that captures every single aspect of Kuwait, whether it's an event or activity, you name it. As always, we've got plenty of exciting topics and reports and, of course, interesting interviews as well. We're going to cut to our first report, which is all about breast cancer awareness, because October is very well known for that. So let's check that out together. الرحمن الرحيم سعدت وتشرفت اليوم بلقائي مع ابنائي وبناتي واخواني واخواتي في الحمله التوعويه في الحمله التوعويه الثانيه لسرطان الثدي تحت شعار انت تستحقين اهتمامنا وهذه رساله اوجهها الى امهاتي واخواتي وبناتي ومناشده بان الوقايه خير من العلاج وهناك دراسة أثبتت أن أكثر من 80% من المصابين بهذا المرض لله الحمد تشافوا والسبب الفحص المبكر وأن والعياذ بالله أكثر من 90% يصابون بهذا المرض بدون أي سبب ومقدمات نتمنى السلامة للجميع ونحن في محافظة الأحمدية نهتم بهذه الحملة لأنها من أهم مساراتنا حملتنا التنموية محافظة أجمل أتمنى السلامة والصحة للجميع وأشكر جميع من شاركنا وأخص بالذكر حملة كان والقائمين عليها وأخص بالذكر كذلك جميع الطلبة والطالبات وإدارة العلاقات الحكومية في محافظة الأحمدي والله ولي التوفيق والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته
Welcome back. Our interview today and our guest is Shahrazad Urban. She is the CEO of the great and new brand shoes called Shahrazad. She has a lot of great designs and different colors and of course it comes in different like seasons as well. Hello and welcome to our show for tonight. Hello, thank you for inviting me. It's always a pleasure to have you here. I believe we have a report that covers all the different designs that you have, the different colors, and even the making and some of the ideas and inspiration behind it. Yes. So we're going to check that report out together. Welcome back. That was all about the shoes, Shahrazad, and I'm here with Shahrazad herself, Umbri, the CEO of the shoes. Hello and welcome to our show. Hi, thank you for inviting me. It's always a pleasure to have you here. And of course, we just saw some of the different designs and the colors as well. It's just amazing, I've got to say. Thank and you. there's also a message behind it, which is also something very amazing. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us more about you and how you came here to Kuwait as yeah, well? Yeah, sure. Um, so I'm from the UK. I'm from a city called Birmingham, which is the second largest city in the UK. Probably tell those of you that travel to England a lot can probably tell from my accent <laughs> that I'm from there. I'm 39 years old and um, I just love shoes. I love business and I love empowering women. So I thought, what, why don't I just combine all three things and create a business that's all about shoes and the empowerment of women. So that's what I'm here to do. Very nice. And can you tell us more about the inspiration behind this brand? Yeah. So um, I've worked at lots of UK companies throughout the years and I've seen many women that have been in the boardroom or been working in shops and so on that are hobbling on their feet. So their feet hurt when they're wearing heels. So I thought, and even my feet often, it was like at the end of the day, I oh, just want to take the shoes yes, off. Yes, I completely understand what you're trying to say. Yeah. Especially when, as you said, like wearing heels, high heels especially, yes. throughout the day, it's just a killer. And yes. then at the end of the day, you just need your flat. Yeah, and that's just not right, is it? So men go to work and they can just glide through the day. And I thought, no, that's not right. There mm. needs to be a way that women can be 
glamorous but mm. still be comfortable. So I thought, mm, I need to design this. There's a gap in the market. All the shoes I've worn, they hurt after mm. a few hours. So that's what I set out to do. Um, it took me a long time, it took me over two years. Wow. So I went to the London College of Fashion mm. and I studied there whilst I was working, tried different designs and it was hard work because obviously if it was easy, everybody would do it, wouldn't they? And there isn't, <laughs> yeah, there isn't that shoe on the market. So that was the idea. But also, as I've grown up, I've read a lot of books about women's empowerment. My mum mm. always encouraged me to stand up for myself as a woman. Very and nice. she said, you can do anything that a man can do. So I, want, I thought, no, I want to do something with that. So yes. how and can today I... you're proving her point. Yeah, exactly. oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, sure, you're yeah. a strong woman in front of me and with a great business idea, yeah. of course. So I wanted to, I thought, well, rather than raising money by running a marathon mm. or doing something sponsored, what if I could raise money in a way that was more sustainable, longer mm. lasting and could help more women? So I decided to design these shoes and mm. then some of the profits from every pair mm would go to educate a woman or girl who lives in poverty. So the idea is that someone who can afford luxury shoes can then treat themselves, but they can feel good. It's not just about buying fashion and throwing it away. Well, that's just amazing. Yeah, they can buy shoes and I believe good. you have uh, two pairs. Yes, So can I you do, tell yeah. us more about what makes them special and can yeah. you show us? Oh, absolutely, yep. Yeah. So um, it's a luxury product, mm. so it comes in this beautiful packaging. Mm. So what happens is, so the first one is black, very yeah, nice. This is black. So mm. this is a classic court shoe mm. and um, it's high shine leather, mm. good quality and you wear it plain during mm. the day. And then, so let's say I was in meetings, I would wear it like this. And then at the end of the day, I take it off. Oh, very nice. So it's like a magnet? Yeah, or it's a magnet, magnet. but it doesn't okay. come off. Um, and then Ooh. I get my shoe jewellery, mm. which we call shoelery. Shoelery, I love that. <laughs> and then we just slip it onto the shoe, like so. It clicks in place. And, and voila, you've yeah, got voila, the night look. Yeah, go to a restaurant, go, mm. to, um, go to a party, go Very to a nice. night. So that's the idea behind it. So you can buy one pair of shoes and lots of different Very straps. nice. And how many different uh, shoelery do you have? And yeah. the different looks that you can have yeah. from one pair of shoes? Um, for, so from one pair of shoes, you can get 10 to 15 mm. different 10 looks. 10 to 15, yeah. wow. So we do lots of different mm. buttons, lots of different straps. Mm. Um, mm. And we also do a range, especially for mm. Kuwaiti ladies, because ah, nice, nice. did some research on Kuwait and I know everybody really loves high fashion here. Mm. So I do an 18 karat gold range as okay, well. Okay, very nice. Um, so um, it, we use 3D printing, which mm. is the latest technology. So yeah, that's amazing. Been amazing. So you've got well. a great combination, and I believe you have another pair of yes. shoes as well. So can you show us? And yeah, I'm just excited to see all the different jewelry, shoelery, shoelery. I mean. <laughs> yes, the shoelery. Mm. So this now is this is a different color. Yes. Yeah, this is blush. Um, mm. And again, you can see it's got a pearly shine to it. Mm. So all of the shoes come with a pearlescent shine. And this is, um, I suppose, like a Mary Jane mm. style. So again, for the working woman mm. or somebody who, a lady that lunches that wants a smart look. Very nice. And then again, you change it for the shoelery. So that shoe turns into this. Here Very nice. If you could see that on the camera, I believe, it's just the, the different look. So mm. there you go. That's yeah. the morning and then you've got the night look yes. immediately with that. Absolutely. So we do um, thing we do this red colour as mm. well. Nice. And um, there's lots and lots of different designs. Mm. So all of the shoes have mm. empowering names. Very nice. So for example, Can you tell us some of the names? Yeah, mm -hmm. this is called Dream Then Do. Oh, so nice. it's inspired by an author who wrote about, um, who writes about women and empowering mm. them and those living in poverty. So I thought, call it Dream Then Do. So if you have a dream, then you go and do it. Nice. Um, and this, what about this one? This one what is, is called, called Take My Lead. So as a woman, I can mm. be a leader and people mm. can follow me. And then there are other ones such as Equally Ever After. So we don't need a man to be happy ever after. Yeah. It's about equal ever after so very nice very nice so I, I just love like the that. names Thank and you. I'm loving everything so far and of course the shoelery itself can yeah. you tell me more about the models that you have because the yes. models you pick on your catalog or your website yeah whatever it is to wear the shoes you don't pick models you pick regular women yes just to show off their beauty and the shoes yes. itself so can you tell me more about yeah, that? yeah I thought that was really important so when I thought about my brand the marketing and what it stood for if you're empowering women you shouldn't be photoshopping them mm. and making them look unrealistic because it mm. gives people the wrong expectations yes so I thought long and hard and I thought there must be a reason why big brands do 
use models, but I thought, no, um, this is about being different. So um, in my photography, I only ever use real women. So if I show you an example. Yes. Um, and I believe some of your friends. Yeah, your friends and family. So well, this yes. is my sister, yes, Iram, nice. and she um, has modeled the shoes and she actually wears the shoes as well. And she's rocking them, I've got to she say. She is, <laughs> yeah. And then um, some of the other images, um, you can only see the legs on the front, but one of my friends, his daughters, mm are in the images as well they're my legs there. Ah, okay, nice, um, nice. so yeah we always make sure that we stand by our mm. brand ethos and, and do things like very that, interesting really. so let's talk more about the charity work that you're doing so yes. basically anyone that purchases this type of shoe yeah. Shahrazad and yes. they'd automatically be giving back and just feeling more happy and appreciate what they have yes. So can you tell me more about that yeah absolutely so we call them good deed heels mm. So when a woman buys a pair of shoes, if I just show you um, inside the box, so when mm. she opens the box, okay. there's a letter in there that yes, tells, the um, tells us about that, that woman exactly how the money is used in terms of sending the money mm. to charity. So at the moment, I'm working in five countries. Mm. Um, so Peru, Pakistan, Palestine, mm. Kenya. And so money from this pair of shoes, mm. if somebody bought them, would go to send a girl or a woman to school mm. who wouldn't otherwise be able to go. Um, so the circle then keeps going round in terms of sustainability and helping women to be empowered. Very interesting. And I believe you have a great way of the making of the shoes itself because at the back of the shoe, you've got even a message yes. for the women themselves. Can yes. you tell me more about yeah, that? Sure. If you could yeah. show us just how. Yep. It is. Yes. So there's, you can have different messages on the shoe. Mm. So this particular one is a to-do list. Mm. So it says, slip on heels, head to boardroom. So you wear it plain. Mm. Slip on sparkle, which mm. is the shooter in a head to the bar, tea bar or anything else. And it reminds you to do good deeds. So it's something a little inspiring. And it, mm. again, it reminds you that these shoes have done good deeds mm. when you've bought them. So the shoe brand is classic, but also it has a little bit of quirkiness mm. about it as well. Um, I wanted it to be fun and very different. nice. And as you came here to Kuwait and you've been traveling a lot throughout like yes. different parts of the world, yeah. what are the different like ideas that you got and would like to maybe change in the future like we'd see it in your designs? Yeah. Okay. Well, for me, it's been really, really brilliant to be here in Kuwait and re I've talked to lots of women around mm. and what they like here, the sorts of colour palettes that they like, I understand there's a taste for lots of colourful gems. Mm. So one of the, I'll be doing this design with different coloured gems in, so it's multicoloured nice. for the so Kuwaiti market. Colourful, yes. Absolutely as well. So there'll be lots more choice around that. Um, and also a photo print, so mm. having photos printed on the leather so wow. you can have something really quirky. I can't wait to see the new designs, I've got to say. And earlier, like before we started, me and you were chit-chatting about the length of the heels. Yes. Can you tell me more about that and the yeah. specific length that you've picked? Yeah. So my shoes are three inches mm. and there's a reason for that. So the shoes are designed to be worn for up to 18 hours pain free. Mm. So I, I said at the start That's of the like interview. a whole day, like yeah. as soon as you wake up, once yeah. you're going to work and then all the way back. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Um, because again, it, women shouldn't have to um, hobble and mm. have, have pain. Mm. So it's three inches so that the dynamics of your body weight work mm. well with the shoe. So and it if can it's be comfortable. actually higher, it would be more painful it and would. lower probably yes. more painful as well. It would, yeah. Mm. So um, I want women to look glamorous and mm. to glide almost like mm. a swan. So it's like, no, this is, we've tried and tested it. I said it was mm. two years in development. So um, yeah, that's the optimum heel height. For Very nice. And how are you trying to empower women through this brand? Um, so the brand is a, has a lot of narrative around it. So it's not just about buying the shoe. I always talk to people or when people are selling the shoes, we talk to people about the good deeds that they do, why it's a three inch heel, the different colours that have been used. It's all about classic and luxury. People can go on our website and look at the projects that mm. we're doing. So Very nice. there are personal stories around the women that we've helped and the girls that we've helped and you can go and really connect mm. with that. And I believe you've got a reception and different like events and activities yes. here in Kuwait and different parts of the world as well. Can you tell me more about that and the feedback of people that you got? Yeah. So on Tuesday this week, um, I had an event at the Jumeirah Hotel and we invited local Kuwaiti women 
um, and other women that are, that are living here to come try the shoes on, give some feedback and it was a really lovely event so I really got to hear people's feedback on colours, sizes, um, styles, tastes, how you can team your shoes with an Avaya, how you can team it with jeans. Very nice. How you, can, you know, so that was really, really useful and it got a really, really good reception um, there. Thank you so much for being here today with us and we just need your Instagram account so everyone that is watching us and would like to contact you could do yeah. so. Oh, absolutely. At 18 Hour, hour Heels. Yeah, so I believe it's going to be on the screen right now and everyone could just go on to your Instagram and Twitter, yeah. I believe, as well. Yes. Thank you so much, Chaz, Thank for you. being here tonight with us and sharing the pain-free heels that every girl dreams of. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to have you. We're going to cut to another report, which is about the artist, Amir. So let's check that out together.